trip. We are going to what claims to be the, the, the world's largest RV show, and it's in Hershey, Pennsylvania. There's going to be acres and acres and acres of RVs there. So we're excited. Yeah, it'll be kind of fun. Look around and just, it's going to be fun to explore. <laughs> Alrighty. Tiny house, prepper. Hey everybody, I'm Bill. And I'm Elizabeth with Tiny House Prepper. So come on along with us as we check out these RVs. <laughs> it's going to be big and fun. We get um, a lot of, of comments that how can we say we live in a tiny house? We just live in an old RV. And, you know, I don't think it's so much that we want to um, share with everybody about the whole idea of living in whatever people would want to call a tiny house, but just the simple tiny living. And that can be in so many different kinds of places. Houseboat, tiny little apartment in New York City, um, and an RV that's permanent like ours is, where it's just, it's, it's going to stay there. Um, uh, RVs that travel, cabins, there's so many different ways that people, sailboats, oh that's neat, yeah. So many different ways that people can just live a simpler life in a tiny space. And so it's one of the things that we're going to this big thing for um, is just to look at a lot of different possibilities that um, people might be able to have. Um, because a lot of times an RV, especially used one, would cost much less than to actually build a cute little tiny house on a frame. And so um, also, you know, at some point we're hoping to be able to retire and we would love to do some traveling. We'll take everybody along with us on our YouTube channel, but we would love to do some really serious traveling. And um, so it's just fun to look in, at all these different kinds of things and also just to share that with you. Okay. We're pulling up to park, but there's a big, huge parking lot just full of cars. It's raining, brought an umbrella. I'm all purple today. I had no idea I was coordinating myself that well. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Here we are. It's gonna be a bit of a walk, but it'll be neat. Three in this grass field. There's an awful lot of cars here. Awful lot of people here. It's gonna be a big event. This is the last day. I think it's been five days. Detectors to get in. Man, this place is big. This place is so big. <laughs> I don't know where to start. We're trying to look at the map and see kind of where we want to go, what we want to go look at. It's not raining right now. So yeah, it's nice. been raining off and on. It's not raining right now. I think we're more interested in these kinds of uh, camper vans than we are in the big trailers. Although we're here to show all sorts of ideas to people. So. Right. This one is a heartland. There's so much here, we're overwhelmed with it, and we've never even heard of most of these, uh, most of these brands. size bed up in there. <laughs> There's a king size bed in the front bedroom. Full bath and shower, look at that. Wow. It opens it from the hall too. That's nice. Big closet. Look at that couch. This is something. You can take a lot of people with you in this. 
no room. Kitchen, here's the sink. Got a little deck out there. That's real to water. Got decks out the back and the side. Huge uh, big screen TV. That refrigerator is larger than ours at home. So what do you think? Besides sweating to death. <laughs> it's so humid today, it's unreal. These are the kinds of things that we're more interested in rather than the big trailers. The front seats turn around. To complete customer satisfaction before, during, and after. Oh, this is a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two burner stove, microwave, sink under here. Looks like there's seating for five back here. Yeah, this would set up as the bed. All in one shower, a wet shower. What do you think? This one's similar to the other one that we were just in. Uh. Bed. It looks like you sleep. Long way. This is the door. It will look exactly like the difference done. Excuse me. Yep. Right here. I really like them. They're all uh, Mercedes. Thousand, and that's on sale. So maybe next year. Oh yeah. <laughs> Trailer. It's a camp light. 28 foot. I mean, I'm sorry. 24 foot to 28, 29 thousand dollars. Nice. This has air conditioning. Yes, oh, it is so. It's incredible. not. It's not hot today, but it's so humid. Everybody's dripping. But this has got a. I like this. It's got a like a queen size probably bed here in the front. Oh, with lots of covers. And then a little slide out right here for your dinette. Yep. And you like what? I, I like this little kitchen. This one I like. It's a microwave. Cupboards. Sure, that's the sink, yep. of course. What do we got back here? Okay, we have. Um, yeah, here that's we go. the refrigerator. Refrigerator and freezer. Okay. And then. Um, and bunk two, beds. two bunks. Yep. That would fit a family more easily. Bunk beds here. Yeah, that's okay. Inside the shower. Now, 
This one is a 20 footer. 6,000. This is about the most efficient design. Oh, look who I just found. Yeah. <laughs> so you got a couch and a nice good sized bed, cupboards, kitchen, and a bathroom with a shower. With a separate shower. With a separate shower, hole. yeah. Cupboards. I like the feeling that all the space is being used efficiently, but it doesn't feel cramped. You don't feel like you're squishing through things. That's because I don't see any kind of a dinette table type thing. Oh. There must be something the person can hook up or unhook or oh, I'll have to have to see. Uh, Hello. <laughs> 14 feet for 19,000, 20,000. Got a small kitchen in the front. Refrigerator. A little bedroom, a bed, and a, and a wet bath. This is small enough you could pull it behind any kind of a little SUV or something. Yeah. So many people here. I thought that we were going to be able to go in and show you tours of different trailers and RVs and give you the prices and the brands and all that kind of stuff. Well, but we have been somewhat. We are a little bit, but there are so many people that I I have to wait until the place empties before I can go in and shoot because most people aren't going to want to be on our YouTube channel unless we have their permission, you know. And uh, as far as finding out the brands and the prices and all that, unless it's actually posted, it's very difficult to do with so many people here. So we're... I found out some of it. Just sort of yeah. talking to them. Yeah, you but, so we're going to keep going and keep looking around, but I'm not going to be able to give as much information, I don't think, on this video as I was hoping to. Transit van is one thing. Here is three hundred and twenty-eight thousand, I think. Oh, this one's a bit little better. This is only three hundred and nine thousand. <laughs> it's empty. Come on. I'm coming. Oh my goodness. Wow. This has got slides on both sides. Oh. Oh, this is beautiful, isn't it? This is amazing. Oh. Wow. Full size bathroom here walk-in shower look at that and then it was another half bath up front full-size bed ceiling fan uh, TV okay we just always make sure we get permission. Refrigerator. Here's a little half bath right here. They got a full bath back there. Oh goodness. And then a half bath right here. Huh. That's pretty nice. Big refrigerator. This is elegant. Comes with these chairs when you're traveling. Some way you can fasten them or because this is the bump out. Wonder what you do with the chairs when you're actually traveling. I don't know. Oops. This thing, because it's got slide outs on both sides, this must be 12, 14 feet wide. This is amazing. Pretty big flat screen TV right there. Although 
I think this should be it should be visible to more people or something. I don't know. Oh, oh this uh, this chair works. <laughs> Feels good, it, huh? It, it sits. It sits well. <laughs> This is more than we would ever need. But we wanted to show you guys one of the big pretty ones. It's beautiful. I think it was 325,000. No, that was the other one was. This one was 309. Uh, 97,000. It's on sale for 68,000. This is nice. Good you go ahead in, honey. Yeah, I'm headed in. Okay. That's for your channel. Okay, it looks like there's a bed up here, above the seats, the driver's seats. This is spacious. Of course, it's got a slide out over here. This would go down into a bed. Another bed back here with a slide out. Nice bathroom. It's a kitchen with a sink, three burner stove, uh, microwave. Refrigerator, very nice. More affordable, 68,000. We could definitely live in something like this. It's smaller than where we live now, but not. And it gives much more of a feeling of spaciousness than our little place. Okay. <laughs> Let's look at a $703,000 home. It's on sale right now, $171,000 off. <laughs> wow. Wow. Again, unless this thing can move, a bunch of people can't see it. There's a window behind that. Yeah, it must go up or down or something. Check this out, Jeff. Look at this. Pull outs. Huh. Thanks. So here's the inside of a $700,000 unit. $700,000 thing there. That was really hard to film because it was so mobbed. There were so many people in there checking it out that I had trouble even getting video of it. But it, uh, the crowd thinned out a, a little bit towards the end where I was able to actually video it for you. $3,000 and right now it's, you save $171,000 if you buy it right now. So with the savings, you could go buy a house. <laughs> yeah, buy a house. So this is 35,000, it's uh, 16 feet, nice size bed in the front, mm -hmm. toilet shower, oh it ends right there, it's yeah. like what happened to the back half, <laughs> <laughs> after that big huge monster we were just in, I know, I know, fairly nice little bathroom there, little bathroom with a shower, there's a slide out there with the dinette, which I guess turns, turns into, into a, a bed. bed. Yep. And then the bed up there. It's kind of nice when you have a bed that's always set up. I and agree. I think that bed would really... always be set up. You don't have to right. keep changing this back and forth. Right. Well, especially if for some reason someone's not feeling well or yeah. just, you know. Uh, there isn't any real comfortable place to sit here. You, I'm sitting in the 
where you, we've been in those other ones that have big leather couches and recliners. <laughs> that one little trailer that was 26000 that had a comfy couch and yeah. still a bed in it. I yeah. was impressed with that. And by the way, on that one, there was a, apparently like a sort of coffee table-like thing that was easily stored. You just put the legs down and put it in front and you have something to eat on. I actually have all of them. Down in our style. Yeah, these are pickup uh, campers. Thirty-six. Brand new. Thirty-six thousand. Oh, this is cute. A little dinette here, and steps up to a bed. That's a good-sized bed. You sleep. You sleep long. It's got more a comfortable. sink there, three burner stove, this microwave. Is nice. What's that? You can turn this all different ways. Huh. There you go. That's really handy. Yeah. And you can turn it back with however you need it. And In the bathroom. It's a wet bath, a shower. But it works. It's okay. Slide in camper. It's fifty three thousand. Now th this one is so long that you it hangs out over the truck that far and you go in from the side instead of from the end. You would obviously need a much larger full size truck for this one. But when you go in it's considerably bigger than the last one that we were just in. And it's got a slide out over here. I'm not sure what I think of slide outs because if you slide it in, you can't use it. You'd have to actually slide it out in order to be able to use it. I would think that would be awkward if you're parking on the side of a street someplace or something. Yeah, I don't know. But there's a full-size bed going this way. Huh. Let me see. Closet over there. Interesting. Oh, yeah, this closet. But this one has a nice couch here to sit on that the other one didn't. It's that table even there. Oh, right there. yeah, that works. Oh, yeah, nice bathroom. Oh, yeah, it's got Shower this show that bathroom. hole here yeah, for the table, table there. so you can sit there. Mm-hmm. You sit there and put the table there. Yep, and the bathroom's nice. You'll have to definitely show them that. Bathroom, separate shower. This is big for a, for a pickup. Teardrops. And, and little and guys. Especially li the little guy trailers. And there is... Oh, they're, they're single wheel. These are little guys. Completely folds down. Oh, folds down to make another bed across there. Yeah, makes a second bed. Yeah, but see, the problem that I have with this is that that bed and this bed both you gotta sleep this way, and it's just not long enough. You want to stretch out and see if you actually can fit. Let's see, let's see if it's long enough for you, hon. It's wide enough. There's no, I, there's no room for a pillow up here, really. Yeah. But yeah. actually, it's wider than I thought it would be. Right. That might be more workable than we thought it would be. That's nice. Talk about a skylight. And I bet you there's a screen that pulls down. Look at this, hon. 
Now that, that is cool. Oh, it went dark. Oh, good. Okay. So it's still filming. Okay. <laughs> that is that screen. Oh my goodness! Open that window with the screen down. Yeah. That would be very nice. And you certainly at least have a shower in here. This is an interesting pop-up yeah. trailer. It was just one straight pop-up instead of coming out the ends like those ones down there. Well, this is neat. It would give you somewhere to stand to change clothes or whatever to work, and then you just got the bed. Yeah, oh, it looks like a regular double-sized bed. Nice and comfortable. Storage. And then you can just flatten everything down to travel. Just another version of being able to just have a bed along with you, but nice roomy place to be able to stand if you needed it yep. that's nice i've been intrigued by these boy look at like, this big storage here in the front these hard hard top pop-up trailers yeah this is this is really interesting they apparently still flatten down to a the usual flat <laughs> yeah when you fold it down it's just like any other pop-up trailer but it's got a nice seating for four here I guess uh, that goes down into a bed. Two burner stove, sink, there's another bed. Oh, look at this. Oh, a toilet. <gasps> it's a toilet. Yep. <laughs> How about that? The way these work, these sides come down. And then the roof, one comes down, the other one comes down on top of it. And these fold in. Yeah, and it comes in, so it makes a flat uh, top on it when you're hauling it down the road. So it's very aerodynamic, but very spacious and, and easy to stand and stuff in here. You know, plenty of room. When you fold it down, it's aerodynamic. It's the same as one of these. However, with this, when it rains all night and then you have to leave, you got to it's wet. That always makes me very nervous. You wouldn't have to worry about that with one of these. There's no wet, there's no canvas on it to get wet. Of course, this has got a lot more room. Oh, yeah. And in, it doesn't cost as much. Inside, because the beds fold out on both sides. You got a full size bed there, another one here. Wow, this is spacious. Little sink, two burner stove. Oh yeah. My goodness, you could fit a lot of family in here. Yeah. So they have acres and acres of RVs outside. And then this is inside the facility here, the arena where they have a lot more. And they have them all around just on the outside of the seats. All the way around on several levels. There's just all sorts of stuff about, about our being, about just all sorts of different things. We're going to look at some roofing solutions. There's, a, I mean, outposts, cabelas, man, all sorts of different things. All to do with adventure. 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 Um, I've had vertigo ever since I had the stroke. I used to have vertigo anyway, but now it's really bad since I've had the stroke. I decided I was going to sit in one of those chairs there. The entire room started moving, so I'm being a chicken and sitting over the side. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo. So here we are back home again. This is the next day. Yep. That place was so big, we had more fun than we could stand. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. <laughs> we eventually stopped recording because we didn't want to have a two hour video. Right. We tried to give it like a good assortment. Yeah. For the different, yeah. yeah. Um, there were three very large sections of RVs outside plus the whole convention center inside. 
we were only at one one of the three sections and we only covered about half of it so it was open for five days if you wanted to see it all it would have taken you five days to see it yeah, yeah it, it was, was un unbelievable but we still saw a really good assortment and selection right we really right. did we did obviously we didn't see all the brands but many of the different brands had you know rvs and trailers and pop-ups and that sort of thing so yeah. we saw all the different kinds yeah. And, uh, you know, like I said earlier, I'm sure yeah, that we were not able to give you more specific information about each one that we looked at, but many of them didn't have the prices on them or whatever, and you'd have to go and talk to the salesman to find all that out. And he, there were six people waiting in line to see the salesman and all that, so yeah. Yeah. we just weren't able to do all that. And a lot of them did have the prices on which was yeah. good. Yeah, some yep. of them did. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, usually if I had to ask the price, I couldn't afford it anyway. Right. <laughs> Isn't that what they say about the menu? At a restaurant, if you yeah. have to, if the prices aren't there, you can't afford it. Right, absolutely. <laughs> I was taking a, a look uh, when we got back yesterday evening at this little app I have on my phone that shows how many steps you're taking, and I just had to crack up. Um, I did eight thousand four hundred ninety-two steps, or three point eight miles yesterday. Three point eight miles. Three point eight miles. Yeah, yep. and we only covered one one third of the outside area. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> one. Th oh. Um, also, I wanted to tell you too, we are very excited because we just recently, about a week ago, got a GoPro. And this is something that I've wanted for a long time. And yesterday, when we started out, it was raining. Like crazy. And so I took the GoPro yesterday at the, at the uh, RV show for three reasons. One, because it's light, nice and light and easy to carry compared to this camera I'm filming on right now is a great big heavy thing. But it does a good job. I like that camera. Well, yeah. <laughs> but And the other is, if it rained, I didn't want to destroy our, our big camera, So and this is waterproof, so I, I took it. And also, uh, this has a very wide-angle lens that our other doesn't have, so this would be better for the inside shots. So I took it. It was the first time we'd ever really just used it. Yeah. But as I'm doing the editing, there are many times where the audio in here just completely cuts out for about 10 seconds. Usually it's after something loud and then it will Yeah, cut if there'd out. be a loud sound, it's like the uh, the uh, microphone would automatically quiet down, you know, because mm -hmm. it'd be overwhelmed and then it would slowly fade back in again. Other people use GoPro all the time and I've never seen those issues, so I don't know what it is. But anyway, as you're watching the video, you know, that you've just watched, if there's any place where the sound disappears for a few seconds and I put in some words down yeah. below that's because I'm still trying to figure out this new GoPro but overall I really like it we're excited about the fact that it's waterproof especially like with Aruba and stuff yeah so yeah yeah so, so one thing that really happened that happened that was really good at the uh, the show uh, yesterday oh goodness it made the whole trip worth it yeah. right there we um, <laughs> our son likes to say there are two kinds of RV, RV roofs ones that leak and ones that don't leak yet that's right and i have been battling leaks in this roof ever since we had it and i have some paint that's a rubberized paint that you're supposed to use for rv roofs and it's supposed to last two coats and then it lasts five years yeah. well i put five coats on and it's only been a year and a half and it's already starting to stain there was this the roof and i didn't know what i was going to do yeah, and we have obvious places where it's starting to stain the paint a little bit yeah. we don't want mold yeah, you know so i'll get i'll problem. get more into all of that in in the next couple of videos but while we were there inside there was a booth in there a company called rv armor and they have a roof application for rvs that um is really dynamite it's actual rubber instead of a rubberized paint well, it's like they put on top of big flat buildings. Like they use yeah. commercial uses. And for he that. had a he had a swath of it, a, a, just a square of it. He handed it to me. It was about an eighth of an inch thick. Thick, and he said, "Tear it in half." And I did everything I could. I couldn't tear it. And then he gave me another piece. He said, "This is the rubberized paint that you use," and I, it just tore right in half. So it's a lifetime guarantee on the materials and the labor. Once he says, "Once you put it on the roof, the roof is ours," and if it's ever a problem, we'll come and fix it. So. We're really excited about it. Um, we contracted for him to come do the work and he was going to try to figure out how he could get it in before the, the season closes down on us. Yeah. Because uh, it has to be warmer, you know. So he's talking about the middle of October, before, hopefully get it in before it uh, gets too cold. Right. I got a call today from the guy and he says, we can come Thursday. That's only two days from now. We can come Thursday and get started and do it over the weekend. So, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. We, oh, that, that's been a really... 
um, kind of the last major concern about the house yeah, here. Yeah, I haven't really known what to do because yeah. I, I don't want to go up there and repaint it every year. And every year it gets thicker and thicker with the old paint, so then I have to start scraping. And anyway, this is just going to be the answer, I think. So we will do a video of it when the guy comes to do it, and I'll show you, and I'll give you a lot more details about the company and about just all that stuff. Sure. But for us, we really wanted to go down to the, to see the RVs and see all the different configurations and get more of an idea of what we want to do because, you know, like she's mentioned before, year, another year or two when I retire, we really want to hit the road and travel, some extensive travel, so we need to figure out how we're going how to do, we that. do that. That's right. why we went. Um, but just finding the uh, RV armor to, to come and do our roof is going to completely change everything here. It's going to lift so much stress off of me of how to keep this roof from leaking. Yeah. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah. So. And besides, you got to admit it's fun to go into a seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar RV. Oh yeah. That, <laughs> Look around. That was unbelievable. But you know what was it that made it seven hundred and I forget what it seven fifty seven hundred and thirty thousand. I forget. Something now. like that. Um, well, and, you know, it, it, marble and <laughs> yeah, it wasn't any more functional. It right. didn't have any additional. Um, options or anything like that more than the three hundred thousand dollar one did the difference was the entire inside was complete uh, solid uh, mahogany with beautiful finish on it all the floor was instead of being vinyl or carpet it was inlaid tile and, mosaic yeah tile, and marble uh, you know countertops, countertops and and we know, did, that kind of Bill stuff. wasn't able to get in the back with the camera because it got really crowded back there yeah. big glass shower you know I mean everything was like super um, lush, yeah, plush, so it, it wasn't know. any more functional, it was just right. prettier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, if you're that rich, enjoy the pretty. Sure, but um, sure. yeah, I'm it's I, I'm realizing now, I if someone wanted to hand me something like that, I think it just feels like too much. I don't even ever know if I want to live in something that big. Well, I'm, 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 if somebody gave me that, I'd sell it and buy five houses. <laughs> <laughs> Not for us to live in, just for income. <laughs> Alrighty. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed coming along with us. We really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, like I said, in the next week or two, couple of weeks, we'll be doing the video about the roof and the, uh, the RV armor. So thanks for coming along. Alrighty. Thanks for sharing with us. And don't forget to like the video, please. That helps us a lot. Yeah. It really does. And yeah. if you haven't subscribed, of course, now's a great time to do that. <laughs> All right, listen, love you guys. Be blessed. Have a great day. Okay.